My name is Laura Page Kyber, and I'm an assistant curator working in performance at the MCA. I'm here today to talk about our upcoming spring performance season. Each spring at the MCA, we focus our performance season on an annually rotating theme. This year, that theme is resonance. Resonance runs March 28th through May 11th, 2024. There are four artists with four very different projects as a part of the series, and each of these works will be featured in the museum's Edless Neeson Theater. Anna Martine Whitehead's Force will run March 28th through 30th. Samita Sinha's Trimmer will run April 18th through 20th. Laura Ortman's performances will be on April 26th and 27th. And Seven Names Prophet, The Order of the Lyricist will run May 9th through 11th. These works explore how sound resonates in, through, and out from the body, how it reverberates the space between oneself and others, and how lived experiences are voiced in society with great force. Often, we think of resonance as happening to material objects. It occurs when a sound is sustained or extended because it encounters a surface, and then that surface begins to also vibrate. It can also be understood as a third tone, one that occurs because these two surfaces are vibrating together, creating something new. This can also happen between people. Art is often described as resonating with audiences and viewers. This is also a metaphor for the dynamics at play during live performance. As with sound in the physical sense, resonance between people is not about holding feelings or ideas separate or combining them into one. It can be about holding different perspectives in focus on two sides of the exchange. That can be between performers and audiences, voices and instruments or ideas, music and choreography or videos, all while creating something new. In this theme, a metaphor for empathy begins to emerge. All four works use sound, either in voice or instrument, but they also create a charged, energetic interchange between the people and ideas at play. Each year we focus the series on a theme, but those themes are really interpreted broadly through a really wide variety of different types of projects. With Resonance, each of the projects takes sound as kind of a material to convey various ideas, but you're going to get to see dance and music and video by artists who are local and international. In some cases, the stage is used as it is intended to, as a proscenium, and others, audiences come right up onto the stage with the performers, and in some cases, it's as simple as a solo violin concert. In other cases, it's as grand as a full-scale opera with a band and choir complete with dancers on stage. So there's really something for everyone as a part of this series. Each artist thinks of the way they want to engage their audiences in very different ways. So in the case of Martine, she's made it very clear to me that performance is not necessarily about pleasure, but is actually an opportunity for you to think and empathize with experiences that you might not come into contact with every day. In other cases, performance is fully an immersive pleasurable experience as a way to get caught up and lost in kind of a rapturous sonic experience. So the different ways in which performance is utilized to convey different sensations and ideas is fully explored in the wide range of the works in the series. The series was originally organized by former MCA curator Tara Aisha Willis, and intentionally she selected artists who largely identify as women of color. Often, intersectional experiences are where distinction and difference are most ingrained in lived experience and where practices of creating resonance can be most carefully honed. What I hope audiences will walk away from after they experience these works is an awareness of how to hold multiple perspectives side by side. I hope they create a vibrating, energetic exchange and are more able to facilitate relationships and connections. I hope they come away with a greater sense of how embodied practice can provide strategies for building empathy. The empathy that's really needed to remain present with our feelings and differences in today's world.